So would you like to add wholesale directly into your new Shopify store? Let's say, for example, let's assume that you are ready to get started with wholesale. So let's see step by step how we can add wholesale options on the Shopify store in 2024. The very first thing I wanted to do, of course, is to focus into the wholesale application. So we needed an actual wholesale app for the Shopify app store. So if I go back here, I'm going to focus into apps.shopify.com. So I'm going to just go here for abandon and go for continue. Now here into apps, you can look out for a lot of applications that can be helping us to get started. And here I'm going to look out for wholesale applications. If you go here inside, look out for applications, just styled your actual new section that says wholesale. Now here you can see there's a lot of applications. Uh, we can use the wholesale club, you can use the wholesale hero, wholesale pricing discount, and so much more. Now what I can tell you just to is that in order to get started, you want to choose a whole priced uh, wholesale application that comes totally for free. That means that you don't have to pay extra for that. So I'm going to use the application that best suits my need based on features and the reviews. Now, what we can do is to hit now and to install. Now, once you hit now and to install, it's time to configure the wholesale settings. Now, in order to continue control, it's just of course to make sure that you have enough products and enough gift cards and discounts in order to get started though. With that in mind, I'm going to go back here and install my wholesale application. Now, it is time to create some uh, wholesale tires. So after installing the application, you wanted to configure the wholesale settings. You might be prompted to open the wholesale administrator into your Shopify uh, dashboard. Now in here, I'm going to enable the wholesale pricing into my store using four steps. Usually setting up a sign up form. So now what I need to do, of course, is to get started on adding these elements to the wholesale tires into my store. So usually what I need to do, of course, is to go into online store. I go here inside this new version. I'm going to go for customize. And now into the application, usually you want to make sure that you have the application added into the app and beamed. So for that, let's go and focus into the left hut says app and beamed. So here I wanted to enable the wholesale pricing that we're currently using. So I enabled my wholesale pricing and I go for save. Once I have successfully done that, what I can do is to get starting and adding and as specific, let's say, for example, I want people to sign up for an account. So I want to get started and adding something new. Now I have this contact form. I can delete this contact form and add a new section using apps and go for wholesale sign up form. So as you can see here, I have now this create wholesale account. So I have everything about uh, first, last name, business, phone number, tax ID, website, additional information, email, passcode, and I submitted. So with that being said, I can now delete this rich text. I don't want to see it. And here is my template. So the page should be worried about it. And here I can add this later. So what I need to do now is to hit now into save. Then what I can do is to add in a specific section of the wholesale catalog. So I'm going to go here for pages. I create a new template. Let's go for wholesale catalog. And I go for based on. I can go for the power page. And now what I need to do, of course, is to start with my new template. So I delete all of these elements. I go for add section. Let's go for quick buy. So the wholesale people who created an account into my store can be checking out how it actually looks my products so they can be adding those uh, automatically. So check out how I added my products as a wholesale price. Here's the quantity, the total template of one product, right? So here I have this title and what I can do is to add a new block and add the product wholesale. So this product wholesale, I'm going to just put this down the current price of my product. And there we go. Lastly, what you can do is to set up a wholesale customer account. So ensure that the customer account are enabled into your Shopify store. So for that, I'm going to focus into settings. Here into settings, I'm going to focus into the option that says checkout. And here I can select account are optional or account are required. So usually 
this has not been saved it automatically so the checkout order page domain here it is so my wholesale collection and pricing could be added into this new section that says collection so i can name it and a specific collection and create an actual wholesale and add it in here and use the wholesale application to set a specific special pricing for products within this collection once you have successfully done that just test your wholesale setup make sure everything works as expected and create a test customer account and tag it as a wholesale customer just to make sure everything looks correctly this is a very easy and basic way of how we can use the wholesale uh, elements into our store but just in case you wanted to see how we can do this walkthrough step by step since creating an actual looked in account and finally checking out how it actually looks when it comes to checking it out and the wholesale price you can just let us know into the comments below so this is just a setup basic tutorial so with that being said guys if you haven't reached the very end of the video but don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great toys of shopify thank you guys for watching this video hopefully we can all see you next time